Okay, now for a quick break from our coronavirus coverage and our coverage of the wildfires. It's been 10 years now since legendary Portland trailblazer Maurice Lucas lost his battle with bladder cancer. The former power forward was a key to the Blazers' only NBA championship back in 1977. In game two, Luke did something that tilted the series in Portland's favor and cemented his reputation as the enforcer. Ken Body revisits the brawl in tonight's Where We Live. Dawkins hustling back, Gilliam inside. Dawkins just ranks, goes down to the ground and jumps back up. And Ramsey's out on Dawkins, and Richie Powers is pushing Ramsey away. And now, Daryl Dawkins and Maurice Lucas. Somebody do something. It's Dawkins and Lucas. Dawkins and Lucas. In hindsight, I'm grateful he got involved because I didn't want to take another punch from him or an attempted punch from Daryl Dawkins. Obviously, he's a big guy and real strong. Bob Gross works in the construction industry now, but in 1977, he played alongside the enforcer, Maurice Lucas. The power forward from Marquette was the Blazers' designated tough guy. Down two to nothing to Philly in the title series, the Blazers returned to the Coliseum for game three, and Luke knew he was in Dawkins' head from the introduction. Daryl Dawkins didn't know what was gonna happen, and he stuck his hand out to shake his hand, and, and Daryl shook his hand, and. Daryl was a non-factor from that point on. Here's McGinnis, Lucas comes out, McGinnis for the tie, it's off, and he's there, it's over, it's over. The Blazers won four straight to take the series in six, beating a 76ers team with Hall of Famer Julius Irving. The brawl may have changed the series. I think it maybe let them know, Philadelphia, that we, we weren't going to lay down for him. Despite his persona, Lucas was a teddy bear off the court, doing a lot in the community he loved. You got to know him. Maurice was not not a tough guy off the court. He was only a tough guy on the court. The enforcer died of bladder cancer in 2010. But for Blazer fans, Maurice Lucas will never be forgotten. And this Friday, September 18th, Ken is hosting the annual ML20 Foundation Gala, a fundraiser for the Maurice Lucas Foundation. Luke's son David runs the foundation in his father's memory to help underserved youth in the Portland area. It's a virtual event starting at 7 Friday evening, and there's still time to get a ticket, donate, or enter the raffle for prizes. We have all that information at coin.com or on their website, ml20.org.